testing one two do testing hey y'all welcome back to my channel my name is sonia lise rosario and if you're new to my channel i am a faith-based entrepreneur who really just gets on youtube to encourage young people in their walk with the lord and also just encouraging them to you know live a life that is pleasing to god while also pursuing entrepreneurship right and I just thought I would get on and just, you know, ramble a little and just encourage you guys. The topic of the video today is really about what I read earlier today. And this is something I've been praying to God about recently. It is something that, you know, I've struggled with in the past and I still kind of continue to struggle with it. I'm not going to claim it, okay, because we're overcoming it. Okay, that's a good way to say it. We're overcoming this thing, right? And I really thought it was just important. I just really thought it was important to kind of talk about it because I know that a lot of you guys are probably going through the same things. Okay. So um, let me just give you guys a little backstory. Okay. There was a moment in time in business where um, I was so discouraged. I left it alone for like three months at a time or, you know, left it for the most part of the year all summer. Honestly, I ghosted it because of discouragement and because of things just not going the way that I thought it should. And it was because I didn't have the accountability in place to keep me going forward. And so this is just something to encourage you if you're going through something and you know you just feel like you're putting God's work on the back burner and you'll you're telling yourself you'll get to it right now is not the time I promise you let this be a word for you that now is the time now is the time to pick back that that um that thing that you were building for God it's time to get back in place in position and continue to build God's temple and rebuild the thing that he is calling you to rebuild the reason I say this is because a lot of the times we tell ourselves it's not time, it's not time, it's not time to get back on YouTube and encourage um, people just because of the hardships in our own life. Um, and it's not time to, you know, pour out into others because of the circumstances that surround me. But let me tell you real quick that, you know, that thought, yeah, it may seem like a valid thought it may seem like a valid point that everything around you is kind of like breaking everything around you is not working out the way that you thought it should and it's causing you to kind of delay what god is telling you to do but i just want to um i just want to tell y'all something that i i actually read this morning and it was haggai and haggai was really that book really got me together because it really highlighted the principle of you know putting god's work before your own and you know overcoming those um those excuses basically like those excuses that are keeping you from god's work and um allowing god to strengthen you to continue the work um so yeah so when I say like it got me together, it really, really got me together because it highlighted procrastination. And so a lot of us think that we're doing a service to God by sitting ourselves back and, you know, making the executive decision to let the, the work of the Lord go so that you could focus on your house and building what you want and, you know, kind of get in your stuff together before you can do God's work. But when I say that that's not how it works, it's not how God wants it to work. Okay. In the word, it literally said Solomon built god's house before he built his own and god was really highlighting the you know that we look for our comfort we look for our own luxuries we look to build for ourselves but when it comes to the things of god we're not going out there and doing what we are actually called to do and we are putting ourselves above the work of god because at the end of the day the work of god and what god is calling us to do is not only to it's not to benefit us first it's honestly to serve others and to love others that is literally the first commandment is to love your neighbor as you love yourself and doing the work of god and doing what you're supposed to do is going to portray that love and that commandment and so god really wants us to continue to build for 
his kingdom and built for what he has called you to build so that you're able to effectively love God and do what it is that you're actually called to do. So yeah, I was convicted because um, during that time in my business, I had kind of paused it um, because I lacked faith. I lacked, you know, the will. I lacked, um, you know, the desire. I was dealing with apathy, which means, you know, I was basically kind of drawing away from it. I didn't find any interest in it because it wasn't working for me. But (laughs) the whole point was not for it to work for me. It was for me to continue to build for others and be of service to others who may need me. And so can I encourage you today that if you have put something down, let's say a business, let's say a ministry, a prayer group, and this is convicting me right now, because if you have put it down, and you have convinced yourself that now is the time not to to pick it up now is the time not to do it that's not what god word says to do and he has come he has said it clear as day in the book of haggai i recommend that you guys take that book of Haggai, look at the commentaries, read it through. It is so short. It's like three chapters. It's not long at all. And you will see like, you know, God's heart and what God desires for us to do. Um, Excuses that we're dealing with are not real excuses. And it, it shouldn't be something that, you know, allows us to excuse ourselves from the work and building for the Lord. And so whether it was you writing an ebook or you developing your journal or you going out and stepping out into the kingdom entrepreneurship realm of things and you had, you know, put it on the back burner, you decided that you no longer want to do it because you deemed that it was not the right time. This is a word that now is the time and now is the time to go forward. Now is the time to pick that thing back up and keep building because you have no idea who you're actually putting together. You you have no idea what you are called to bring together with your obedience. And it's so interesting because even in Haggai, I think the commentary kind of talked about how um, there were, in, in I think Matthew 30 something, it was about two sons. One said yes to the Lord, but didn't finish out his assignment and then one son said um not right now he delayed his obedience but at the end when he started the work or you know when he started and decided to be obedient he actually finished it until the end and so what was highlighted to me through that commentary was the fact that they said that it is better to delay obedience and complete it rather than say yes and not complete it at all and let it fall through the cracks So let that be, you know, a mindset shift and a mindset thing that allows you to see that God cares for you to say yes to the assignment, but also finish it out. It's better for you to delay the obedience than to say yes, start it and never finish it. So let that be encouragement. I don't know if that was encouragement or rebuke. (laughs) but honestly like it got me together and it showed me like honestly I cannot be consistent without God I cannot be consistent without my support system and so ways you know to beat that procrastination is to ask God for a new heart concerning the assignment that he has given you ask God like God why am I doing this help me to have a pure heart about this help me to go back into what you have, you know, told me to do that I started and I never completed. Help me to complete it for your glory and help me to have the right perspective. Um, Because at the end of the day, whether it is hard to you, I could talk about all the things that I've done that was super hard, but I had to complete it to the end because I knew that there was blessing tied to the obedience. When I first started my YouTube videos, I was being consistent, and but I had no idea why I was doing it, okay? And my consistency turned out to actually be the answer to somebody who 
needed that answer and like i talked about it in my other videos but like you don't even know the blessing that is tied to your obedience like i've seen people meet each other through my youtube channel and now they have a whole family you know so it's like you just never know what it is that god is calling you to do the fruit of it but know that there is blessing after your obedience so pick let this be an encouragement to pick that thing back up and do it until it's finished and you will see how much god will bless that thing okay so yeah again to kind of like finish off what i was saying about like the whole entrepreneurship and kind of like walking away from you know business in 2022 over the summer because of my discouragement if i would have completely let go of the business if i didn't pick it back up after um i would have not seen the blessings that i've i've been able to see now so i just want y'all to remember that doing it for god doing the things that you need to do there is a there is blessing to your obedience and we don't do it just to get the blessing of course but just know that when you pick that thing back up and you actually finish it until the end just know that god is going to bless it um so yeah stop convincing yourself that that now is not the time when now is the time and I hope that blessed you guys. I'm going to put on the screen like the book of Haggai or like the specific um, chapters that actually helped me. Um, but I have a book um, commentary. Uh, I have a Bible that has all of like commentary. And it's a, it's a, a study guide Bible that helped me to understand that book of Haggai. And it really was a word for right now. Um, but yeah. Until the next time. Um, Hopefully the next video will be a vlog um, because I love me a little vlog, but I hope this blessed you and I hope it encourages you to pick that thing back up. Bye.